Greetings brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. It is always good to be here with you. It is always good to have you here with me. Now let's jump straight into the video. Now this story has been old for a while and uh, <laughs> I, I thought let me just um, share it with you guys because I don't know if this is still happening or this man has been busted completely and you know whatever. But a pastor asks his followers to sell their lands and their properties for and give him the money to buy plots of land in heaven can you believe that a pastor at the dave of well a pastor at the dave of the university apostolic fellowship church has reportedly begun selling a portion of land in heaven to his followers so um if you're going to sell something that basically means that you are the owner of it right you can't say you're going to sell something and you're not the owner of it or you can get permission to sell that thing from the owner so i guess this man apparently got permission from god to send lands in heaven really Hello, let's continue it is alleged that most of his church members have swiftly paid large sums of money to him to secure the land for them others who cannot afford the full payment have also been given a flexible payment plan to make a reservation on the offer now fred Isanga, that is his name, a Ugandan born pastor who is now based in Pretoria, is the head of David of the Universe Universal Apostolic Fellowship Church of Righteousness, that is the name of the church, located in Pretoria, the administrative capital of of south africa yes south africa I, i'm telling you these men are coming out of the woodwork in africa i don't know why so much false prophets um is coming out of africa yes they are everywhere in the world america definitely in jamaica everywhere in the world but um i don't know it may might be because the other places are not being published so much but africa have so much false profit i mean it, it is like it is easier to trick the people there i don't know no it is uh, unclear how much the, the um the land is uh, valued it is unclear it is not stated here whether the, the price of the land i should say it's not stated and you know before i i continue i was not going to do this story because i looked i was searching to make sure this thing is real because you know every day something new comes up about a false prophet and this one just seemed far-fetched to me but lo and behold it is something that is real because it is it is on the internet and not just that um i'm actually looking at a newspaper clipping of the story it is however obvious that some so-called pastors are purposefully using the name of god to manipulate their unsuspecting members a few months ago the police arrested a zimbabwean zimbabwean pastor after he sold tickets listen to this after he sold tickets to heaven to his congregation at r9 600 per person i guess that is some african dollars you know it was revealed that the man of god identified as pastor tito watts and his wife asked believers to buy the ticket because it could give them a special access to the gates of he of heaven pastor tito watts could not shut up his mouth while even in police custody now this is basically the same thing you know 
buying something in heaven a plot in heaven or a ticket to go to heaven so basically you buy your land in heaven you buy a ticket to go to heaven and then you can live any way you want to live because what you already have your land there and it is yours and you own it so when it's time to go there your name is on that paper paperwork saying that it is yours and you have a ticket to go through that gate this is rubbish this is rubbish now listen to what he said he said that jesus appeared to him and gave him the controversial tickets made of pure gold and for that matter he think is arrest is baseless um and he said the ticket is made of pure gold and i don't know if he really had a literal ticket or it was just something that he was selling like the man is selling plots of land that they really not seen so this man may be selling th tickets that they're just not seeing because here it said that the ticket was pure gold and i'm sure he didn't have pure gold tickets selling no i do not care what people are the police are saying about me this is what he said i am being prosecuted because of doing the work of god no dear you're not doing the work of god you're doing the work of the devil jesus christ appeared to me and gave me the ticket made of pure gold so that i can sell to people who want salvation he had it and this is a problem with many people out there they want uh. salvation so bad that they're prepared to do anything anything to get it they want to go everybody want to go to heaven matter of fact everybody wants to go to heaven and they want to do they will do anything to get there but the thing that they should do that is what they don't want to do everybody want to go to heaven they would do anything to get there but the thing that they should do they don't want to do i, I wonder if you understand me because you know it, it is not hard in the sense of learning god and learning what we should do and what we should not do and just try try to strive and do those things and not all of these um shenanigans and all of these things that men comes up with now interesting enough a section of his congregation wants the police to stop persecuting the man the man of god and as i do many um videos i always say listen to the people especially if i'm playing a video just listen to the people oh they're rejoicing for these false prophets oh they're clapping for these men and they're um head over heels for these men and falling at their feet like them these men themselves are god now thousands of people protested is arrest saying pastor tito watts should be freed as is a continuous detention would block their chance chances to get to heaven and this is something that i don't understand we can go to heaven free of course we can get to heaven free of course and we don't want that we don't want to go to heaven free of course and when i say free of course i mean without money you don't have to use money to go to heaven the only thing that we have to do is be true to god and and obey his laws and obey his rules and then we'll get there we will definitely get there and just do the things that we need to do like tarry for the holy ghost strive for the holy ghost get the holy ghost and continue to live um a life that is pleasing unto him but first and foremost of course repent and baptize in the name of jesus christ of course but my gosh man these stories are real and uh, i am happy i have a platform in which i can post these things you know and at least one person can hear it and just wise up you know just wise up and and start and come out from among them a matter of fact come out from among, among them be separate and start to seek after god the real way the right way because i heard the pope said um i'm going to share that video in a short the pope actually said that there are many different religions in the world and all of those religion re leads to god all of those religion leads to the one god and that is that is a lie that is a lie because oh can 
we so much religion be in the world and we're doing so much different things so much different things and involving so much different thing that the lord tell us not to be involved in and that the lord tell us not to do how that lead us to god it would be it would be so what's the word it it wouldn't be fair then it wouldn't be fair because if i have to live and basically bring carry the cross and you don't have to do that you have to do something else and you're still out there partying and drinking and do doing anything you want any everything that you like and at the end of the day you're still going to make it it would be unfair and god is a just god he is fair you know he is fair so um let me leave leave you with this listen to this the apostle pastor gina jennings and come out from among them my encouraging word to you is come out from among them many of these videos that i post they may not seem encouraging but i always try to leave a message at the end of it um with the apostle pastor jesus jennings preaching and encouraging you all to come out from among them and listen the true teaching and get to understand god much more that you can make the right decision pertaining to your soul listen this from the apostle pastor gina jennings it can be a mega church <laughs> 999 women and probably one man <laughs> <Amen>. <laughs> yeah holiness the teachings of god that's right holiness the thinking of god mm. holiness the standard of god the ways of god holiness the intelligence of god that's right when you get the intelligence of god in self that will bring us up to a higher level that's true See, the purpose of school is to bring one up to a higher level yeah church supposed to bring you up to a higher knowledge of self that's right you cannot know self no more than you know god amen you have to learn god which brings you into the knowledge of yourself that's right are right, you listening to the old man amen go back to revelation real quick back my time is getting away back in revelation 2 and verse 1 what is it unto the angel of the church of ephesus right uh -huh. these things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand that had the church in his right hand who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks what else i know thy works. do you hear god talking i know thy works. you that are here you that are watching mm -hmm. what do you think you can pull over god nothing nothing he know you're down setting he know you're uprising he know your thoughts are far off that's right what do you mean he know my thoughts are far off before you born the thoughts you will have he already know them amen you're five now he know what thoughts you're gonna have at 25. yeah you're 15 now he know what thoughts you're gonna have at 35. that's right he know your thoughts are far off that's right and what i know thy works i know thine works and thy labor and thine labor and thy patience he's talking to the church amen i know your works i know your labor and i know your patience and how thou canst not bear and them you cannot which are evil. bear them that are evil and thou hast tried them that have tried them which say they are apostles which say they are the representatives of god and are not and how did we find them and has found them liars liars Amen. In order for the church to investigate the preacher, mm -hmm. the church got to have knowledge of the laws of God. That's right. That's right. Otherwise than that, that man, that false prophet mm -hmm. becomes qualified mm -hmm. to deceive the church. Amen. Look at the churches. If they was of God of a truth, you would never go to a church and they got a weak revival and a different fool every night. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> no way. A different false prophet every single night. Every night. And all of them got the same thing. Mm -hmm. They come from Texas. Mm -hmm. God got a miracle with your name on it. Yeah. They come from Oklahoma. Do you want a new car tonight? Do you want a new house tonight? They come from Africa. Do you want a new goat? <laughs> Do you want a new mule? Amen. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Man. They come from Florida. Yeah. Do you need your bills paid? Are you behind in your bills? That's right. Get a piece of paper. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want some paper. <laughs> Every single night, My it's going to be a different hustler. Hustler. That's going to come into your church. That's right. And some of you parents, it's amazing how you can't see it, but your children can. That's and your okay. children telling you, come on, Pop, you believe this trash? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. And father's like, well, son, don't worry about it. The Lord working mysterious ways. The Lord is not that mysterious. <laughs> that God going to make a sucker out of you. That's right. Go ahead. Go ahead. God's word 
Ain't no hustle. No, no. I'm going to say it again. God word. No. There's no hustle. No hustle. I don't need a mink coat. That's right. That's right. I don't need a mink hat. Uh, Amen. Very sincere. Amen. I don't need to look like a pimp. Right. That's right. I don't need to look like a pimp and God's women don't need to look like hoes. Go ahead. Preach it, brother. Preach it. I don't need to be a bling bling preacher. I don't need diamonds. No. I don't need bracelets. That's right. I don't need a bunch of chains around my neck. That's right. I need God. God. Amen. Amen. Mm, mm, mm. This is serious milk. Serious. Serious. Go ahead. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. I want to show you God's church versus what you call church. Right. That's right. What they call church. That's right. Today, the preacher got you thinking he's blessed mm -hmm. because he's wealthy. Right. And he became wealthy off your back. That's right. You made him wealthy. You made him like that. Yeah, he bragged about his wealth. Mm -hmm. Did he use himself as a measuring stick? Mm. If God is blessing you, then you should have a house like me. Yeah. If God is blessing you, you should drive a car like mine. That's right. I don't have to live like you or drive what you drive to be blessed. No. Who are you? The measuring stick is God Himself. That's right. That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? They have committed. Stop mm. letting these TV hustlers. Hustlers. Make a church going, Bible toting, gospel singing and sucker out of you. That's right. That's right. You sit under these lies for years, drive the church happy. <laughs> you should sing a new song as a result of following the liar. Right. I'm going to be robbed today, robbed today, going to be robbed in church today. Preacher going to do me like he did last week. Yeah, going to be robbed today. Yeah. Rob today, rob today. Gonna get duped by the preacher today. Gonna go to hell when he's done with me. Oh, gonna be rob today. Oh, yes. <laughs> go ahead, brother. <laughs> go ahead, brother. You understand? Amen. Go ahead, take God. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> You might as well sing that with all your heart. All your heart. <laughs> what good is complaining about the church you're in, but you ain't got sense enough to stop going? That's right. You complain about it. One thing I'm glad about the Truth of God telecast, it makes you look at church different. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You look at church different now. That's right. You find yourself learning more by watching that program than all the years you've been going to church. Amen. And now when you become more scripturally educated, mm -hmm. the less the preacher is able to trick you. Right. Now you're able to see through his lies and schemes and maneuvers. That's right. Before then we was church going dummies. Yes. Just getting caught up in the emotion of singing. Jumping out of our chair just shouting. Go ahead, man. Don't know nothing. Just shuffle dancers. Shuffle. Don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Am I right, man? <laughs> I came out of a church just like that. My Lord. Where jumping and shouting was the call of the day. And your spiritual growth, or what's supposed to determine your spiritual growth, was how long you shout, yeah. how often you shout, and you ain't know nothing. They know nothing. A church fool. That's right. That's true. You know, I'm told in some kingdoms they have the kingdom of the fool. Yeah. You yeah. come out one half a suit, one color, one one color, come out with little old balls on his hat That's to right. make the king jolly. That's right. <laughs> you have the church fool. Amen. 